Well, hello. Today is Friday, May 21st. We don't have any birthdays or anniversaries. Nobody let me know anything that was going on, so I don't know what to tell you. Uh, I did have a doctor's appointment this morning at 8.15. I left the house at 7.30. I got up at 7.10. This girl's tired. I did try to go to bed earlier. I did go to bed at midnight and tossed and turned till about 1.30. So I should have just stayed up till 1.30. But I do see a nap in my future. But um, I did my highlight meetings, and if you watched that, you saw that I gained 2.8 pounds. Totally expected. If I would have weighed myself today, it would have been even more because I had a pretty good-sized meal yesterday. But uh, today it's back to basics. That's my plan. I'm back to basics. I got my tracker out again, I got my scale out, I made sure all my measuring cups were clean. I have like three or four sets of different sizes, so I, I have no excuses because if I go through the one set of measuring cups, I got another set of measuring cups. I got my measuring spoons out, I have like three sets of those, so I got those all ready to go. Um, the leftover meat that I had from yesterday, I portioned out uh, and weighed them in little bags and put them in my freezer, so I'm set for that. I had my breakfast, I had some watermelon, and a hard-boiled egg, and a banana, and a cup of tea, a really big cup of tea, and which is probably, the cup I have is probably like two and a half, three cups, it's like my Michigan mug, I think you've seen it before, it's really big. I haven't eaten lunch yet, um, Jim's doing some stuff around the house here in the yard, but then we're going to be going to Lowe's in a couple minutes. We moved the fire pit, we had like a gas grill fire pit that was on the back deck. It took up a lot of room. So I said, why don't we just put the little table that we had out in the front, put that back here and put that thing. So David and uh, Josh moved that yesterday after we got done eating dinner. Um, the older generation, the 40 and above, which would be Aaron and Danny and Jimmy and Gary, are so glad that they can turn over that chore to the younger generation because Dan David's 20 and Josh is 19. So they're going to be taking over the chore. And there's Jim. Are we ready to go? I'm ready to go. All right. You want to say hi? Let's say hi. There's Jim. I will be back. We'll talk a little bit more. And Jim bought me a little birdie to put in my planter. In my bike planter. Well, we're back. Let me fix you here. I have you sitting on my lap. There's plenty of room. It's a grandma lap. There's lots of room on a grandma lap. Um, as you can see, Jim bought me something while we were out. I wanted to, when we were looking at, uh, he wanted to look at the uh, gazebos just to compare them to the one we're going to get. Ours is getting delivered on Monday. And uh, there were some people in there. And Jim was like the regular salesperson talking him into going to BJ's to get it because it was a better deal. So they said thank you. So as we were walking by the plants, they had a, a, a pinwheel. Um, a patriotic pinwheel in one of the things that was like a dollar ninety nine. I told Jim, I said, you can buy this for me. And uh, he says, well, I can get you something even better than that. And I go, well, let me look and see what you're talking about. So then he brought me to the hummingbird section where all the patriotic flags and things like that were. And he found that little bird with the little wings, which was eight ninety nine. I would never pay eight ninety nine for that. But Jim wanted to buy it for me, and so I said, I accept. So we have that. I have that. I showed you. I showed you already. What are you talking? Don't confuse me. I've already shown you. And then, uh, I don't know how much I told you about my doctor's visit. My, my appointment was at 8.15. And I got there, and I, you know, you have to go up to the door and call and let them know you're there. And I always think my car is a, a focus. It's a fusion. I always call it a focus. And so uh, I had backed into my parking spot, and I went up to the door and called. And... Uh, she says, well, what kind of car do you have? And I said, I have a Ford Focus. And so she says, okay, you know, somebody will be out to take your temperature and, you know, see how you're doing and all that. And I said, okay. So then I'm sitting in my car, and there's all these silver cars. They must have been a popular color. I don't know why, but there was like four of us sitting in the parking lot. There's, not, there's more than one doctor in this office. And uh, I see this girl walking back and forth, and then I'm thinking, did I say Focus? And so I roll my window down, and I said, are you looking for a Focus? And she said, yeah. And I go, that be me. It's a Fusion. She says, oh, I, you know, she says, I, I thought I knew my cars. I go, yeah, obviously I don't. But so she came over and I, obviously I was fine with everything. And I went in and so they're just doing the usual blood work. Um, I told her about my struggles with my weight, 
lately. I would say 90, yeah, let's be honest, 95% of it is I'm just not choosing properly. I'm just choosing all the wrong foods. But I want that slight 5% chance. I did bring it up that I was having a little bit of struggles with my weight. And uh, so she looked at the scans that I did with the thyroid doctor. And she said, well, he, she, he didn't test you for your levels. He just did your parathyroid, which is fine, which I told you that was fine. They're still watching it, but, you know, for now it's fine. And um, so she says, well, you know, that could, be, that could play into it. She says, have you been feeling kind of moody lately too? And I go, yeah, I kind of have been. I'm not sad, not, I'm not depressed, just kind of, you know, kind of down. And she says, well, some of it is like, because with the pandemic, everybody was home and, you know, like it was just like really hard for everybody. And so that like, you're so excited now that you can see people and now you're kind of realizing and getting back to reality and you're kind of coming crashing down. So she said she's seen a lot of that. I don't think that has anything to do with me, but you know, because I told her, I says, I don't know what I'm so sad about. I, I've I got my family back. We're all vaccinated. We're, we're having our family dinners again. I can see everybody. You know, I've got a new established hug uh, thing going on that I hug people, which I didn't do before. I says, but it's just like, I'm just like, I'm. she says, it's the typical crashing down to earth. She says, it, you'll level out. Don't worry about it. She says, just stay with it. But uh, my blood pressure was perfect. And uh, everything, everything. She says, well, I noticed that you didn't do your um, ultrasound of your heart yet. Because the heart doctor that I used to go to, I go to a heart doctor every year. We have heart, uh, I think all families have history, you know. But we have a history of uh, colon cancer, which is why I get my colonoscopy all the time. We have a history of uh, diabetes, so that's why I always get my sugar, my blood levels checked on that. And we also have a history of heart problems. So I've always gone to a heart specialist every year to get my scans and whatever they do. Whatever they do, I do that every year. And uh, she says, well, I noticed you haven't done that since uh, 2019. And I said, yeah, 2020 was kind of a bust. <laughs> and she says, yeah, I agree. So she gave me a prescription to get stuff done. And uh, the doctor that I usually go to retired in 2019. I knew that when I went to him because he, he had told me that was I was going to be one of his last patients. I said, did I do something to offend you? <laughs> he says, no, don't be silly. But uh, but Jim goes to a heart doctor. So I'm gonna, just going to go to the same doctor Jim goes to. He's, he seems to like her. So I'll go to her. But my I had lost weight from the last visit, but that was like November of... What was it? 19? November of 19. I've lost weight since then. I've obviously put weight back on, but I've, she, she was very happy with the weight I lost. I didn't dare tell her that I had gained back like 12 pounds. <laughs> but she was happy with the weight loss, and then my BMI had come down. So she said, you're doing well. She said, are you still doing Weight Watchers? And I said, well, I'm trying. She says, well, it seems to be working. You know, stay with it. So, like I said, I weighed myself yesterday, and I had the 2.8 gain. I figured yesterday I was going to just throw caution to the wind and just really enjoy myself and then today get back to basics. And that's exactly what I did this morning. I got back to basics. I told you what I had for breakfast. I haven't decided what I'm going to I'm probably not going to eat lunch because I ate my breakfast so late. So I'll have for dinner. Um, I have a, my sister Mary makes these really good chicken, 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 chiamangi. No, not, I know what it is. You know what it is. Chimichanga. Is it a chimichanga? I think it's a chimichanga. It's chicken. It's shredded chicken that she puts in a um, tortilla wrap. And then you just kind of just kind of quick heat it up. So I don't know how many points it is, but I'm saving my points for that. And then I had some refried beans left over from yesterday. So I'm going to have some refried beans. And then I think I had a little... I think I had probably maybe... A half a cup of Spanish or Mexican rice left. So I'm gonna have that for my dinner, and then my diet iced tea. But um, the Weight Watchers group that I do belong to, where I used to go when I went for my meetings. I gotta go. Very right good. Well, hopefully I can finish this up this time. Jim had bought. We bought contact paper on our um, outdoor grill thing, fire pit, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it had uh, contact paper on it, and through the seasons that we've had it, it kind of peeled and stuff. So Jim bought new contact paper, 
and he just wanted me to help him put it on evenly so it didn't have buckles and stuff on it. So I was, for the last 50 years, I'm the apprentice, and so that's what I did. So I helped him out. So he's still got, I think he's got three more to do. One done. We'll see how that goes. But anyway, like I said, uh, today I'm back to basics. i am uh, got all my measuring cups and spoons and all that stuff out. I'm all ready to go and going to stay on track. And uh, just remind myself that in order to succeed, I have to have some failure and some setbacks. Because I think when you have your failures and your setbacks, then you have a more uh, appreciation for when you do succeed. You know, if everything came easy to you, then what would be the challenge? I think life is a challenge. And so you got to have your different challenges in life. And uh, trust me, this is my, th I would say this is my biggest challenge. It really is. You know, I would always, I, second running up close second is managing money. <laughs> it would be a close second. But uh, managing my weight has been my biggest challenge and uh, also my greatest success. This time is my greatest success. I've always been successful in losing weight in the past, but I haven't been successful in keeping it off. And even though I've gained some weight back, I think I'm still pretty successful as far as nipping it right away, catching it as quick as I have. Because uh, in the past, I would have just given up by now. I would have seen I gained 13 pounds and I would have thought, you know, what's the point? You're gonna gain your weight back anyhow. You might as well enjoy yourself. No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna learn from my failures and my setbacks. And that's gonna lead me to my success. It really is. But um, like I was saying that my group that I belong to was when I went for meetings. It's called Denise's Den, and it's a Facebook group, and she puts like little inspiration things on there. And today she put um, what you need to really be successful in your weight loss, and I thought, what a better day is the day I'm getting back to basics. So the very first thing is listed in really big, big, big letters is patience. <laughs> it's like they're speaking to me because I don't have patience. You know that. I don't have patience. I try, and I try, and I try, and I try. But... Obviously, I must have a little bit of patience because I haven't given up. So, uh, the next thing they tell you to do is have a calorie deficit. I have not been having too many calorie deficits lately. I've been eating way more calories than my body needs to sustain itself. So, I need to um, cut back on my calories a little bit. I'm not a calorie counter, but it doesn't take a genius to figure out that if you have a piece of cake in the morning and then you have a brownie at lunch and then you have a donut at dinner, it's too many calories, so um, I have to do, do that. The next thing is to eat some adequate protein. Um, I do have, like I said in my um, eating highlights, I do have, I eat a lot of chicken and I do eat um, an egg every day, but I probably don't eat enough protein. And protein is very filling, and so <clears throat> I, I do, I have protein products in my house, I just don't get them out and put them on my plate, so I, I have to work on that a little bit more. Uh, the next thing is patience. <laughs> I think there's going to have a theme here. Is um, yeah, patience. Then uh, the next thing they tell us is strength training. I been I have weights next to my bedside, and I really haven't. I can't tell you the last time I picked them up to use them in a the proper way. I picked them up to dust, but <laughs> underneath them to dust them off, but not to actually use them. So uh, I'm going to start using those a little bit more. Um, some movement every day. Well, I have that. I'm very fortunate that I can get out and go for my walks. I'm so glad that I'm getting my confidence back. Uh, even when I was at the doctor's, she said, you know, have you, how are you doing? Do you fall? And I said, well, you know, last week when I was with my sister and I told her about tripping on the dog leash, and she says, there's a difference between falling and tripping. She said, you tripped. All humans trip. So she said, no, that, we're not going to count that. So that made me feel a little bit better. But, uh, and I knew that in my mind, but, you know, hearing it from a professional, I guess, made it all the more reason, reasonable. And so I'm, I'm adequately available, adequately able, rather, to uh, get out and walk. And I, you know, and I'm going to do it as much as I can. And I, I keep busy around the house. I'm always doing a little bit of weeding, watering my flowers, coming out here to read, going in and out of the house. You know, I'm really working on it. I really am. Uh, oh, guess what's next? Patience. <laughs> I told you there's a theme here. Uh, the next thing they tell you is to get enough sleep. Uh, I, I'm having a hard time with my sleep lately. I don't know what the deal is with it. Um, I, I really do think um, it has a lot to do with 
I don't have room darkening shades, which I probably should have because the sun comes, no, the sun comes down, comes up on the other, no, the sun comes up on this side, that's right, on the east, because my bedroom faces east. And uh, I, I really think it's the natural light coming in and waking me up. I really do. That along with the birds. I love hearing my birds. They start about 5.30, 6 o'clock, even before the sun comes up. I know Anita over at Chitchat Paddywhack, her birds are annoying her. My birds don't annoy me as much as the people that let their dogs out. And we have one neighbor who will remain nameless, but they live behind me over there. <laughs> They let their dogs out probably about five o'clock and the dogs howl and bark, even all year round, at least a half hour, 45 minutes before they let them back in. Now, they probably have to leave to go to work or something. I don't want to leave them cooped up in the house, but it's annoying. It just is really annoying. But anyway, um, so with that being said, I say that a lot too, with that being said, I um, starting again, back to basics. Just the normal everyday things that you learn the first day of Weight Watchers. You know, it's track, 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 drink, 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 but drink water, not booze. <laughs> so that's my second thing of water. Like I said, I had a big cup of tea already. Um, but the only thing that, like, if I allow it to continue, it's going to continue. So I have to learn that. Uh, what I'm going to allow is going to continue. And so what I'm going to allow myself now is to continue to get back to basics. Because getting back to basics is the only thing that should be on my mind right now. It really should. I got my, my family back. I'm in my happy place sitting outside. I have my flowers planted. Things can only get better. And so that means I have to start concentrating on my weight, getting back on track. Not obsessing, but just getting back on track. So... Well, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, leave a comment, hit that like button, share if you think somebody might like to see it. As always, stay safe, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Hopefully I didn't look, but we, I, hopefully we have some birthdays tomorrow. I didn't get to sing. Some enchanted evening, you will see a stranger. You will see a stranger across the crowded room. Okay, I got my song in. Talk to you guys tomorrow.